In the last episode, we had to leave Spekane behind in Bonaire and past Curaçao on our way to Aruba. Halfway between Bonaire and Curaçao, we're going to pass Little Curaçao. We're talking to the Dutch Coast Guard now. Until now, they're not allowing us to stay for the night, just on anchor, even if we don't go ashore. But not allowed to anchor outside Curaçao, just for a couple of hours. Pass the bus clearance and a visa. Okay, thank you very much. I know you can't help. It's a pity. But we will continue. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Be safe. <laughs> yeah, be safe. <laughs> So we arrived in Aruba in the middle of the night and uh, we slept way into the morning. Uh, we had a couple of hours of rest and we were planning to leave the next night in the direction of Panama. The planning was made very carefully because we didn't want to arrive in San Blas Islands in the dark and we also tried not to have too much wind uh, before the coast of uh, Colombia. Aan de hele voorkant is er af, man! Ja, de mast komt naar beneden, daar ben ik bang. Even kijken, nee, deze staat nog vast. Het iframe is weg. So I went to bed at 8 o'clock in the evening to at least pick some hours of decent sleep and then I think it was 9.30 when we woke up and then it was a huge bang. Here they are, here they are. Anchored here together with Inky Blue. They are okay. Uh, everybody physically is okay as well. But it's not sure that we can continue. Well, it's definitely sure that we can't continue unless uh, the mayor performs a miracle. Yes. Well, I don't know whether it's a good morning, but it's morning. Well, the, the crossbeam has to be replaced. Oh, there's the captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beam, jib, it's the rolling system of the jib. Uh, and this, of course, is gone as well. Yeah. yeah. It goes to show you how strong these, these boats oh, are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here it opened up. Yeah. Well, I think we might be lucky that it hit it where it hit because I don't think you can it's say really strong you were lucky about anything last night I mean, it's a huge bay and they hit your boat the boat made a move that it never made on the ocean yet it, it felt like it was lifted out of the water I bet it did, yeah I could have it's, you, uh, uh, but it's very special that it didn't hit the hulls or yeah. whatever yeah, I mean in many ways. Came in here, Mama Margaret, just came in like this with bags. Yeah, but then this piece is it must be really, really, really strong. You can see a bend in the force Yeah, yeah. 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 So 
I think they would need to bring a new tube as well. Yeah, and uh, the seal is damaged as well. Yeah. Here's the anchor chain. Pass the phone down, all right, and we can show him from here. It's, uh, Hi, Matteo. It's uh, Kingsley. Good morning. Uh, let me just turn around so I can show you. So now we have to uh, get rid of the old shackle, the old bridle. But uh, it's completely uh, bent, so we can't open it anymore. So. Jimbo is cutting it with the Haagse slijper. I don't know what it's called in English. <laughs> and uh, good job, Jimbo. Thank you. <laughs> So. It's worth having a look at the forces on here. Look, you can see how how much this is bent. Yeah. So Jimbo is helping us. Oh, that's see here the, where the forces have just kind of bent. Completely bent this way around. So Maybe we're lucky that the bridle uh, and the anchor chain uh, got a, a large part of the force. The bridle itself is snapped on two sides. So imagine that. Yeah? You are extremely nervous to bring the boat to the other anchorage, close to the airport. We could, could do it in between the reefs, so there were hardly any waves. And we supported the mast on two places. We put both halyards on the cleats on both hulls. But we were extremely careful because we didn't know if there were any more problems with the boat at that moment. Thank you staying with us until we are in a new location at least. Anything weird on the steering? Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at the mast. No, I don't think there's a problem. Yeah, it's got a big bulge, isn't it? Yeah, but also the crossbeam is not very... Oh, yeah, if the crossbeam goes, then uh, yeah. the whole load is on the two uh, halyards. They can take a lot as well. So there's a reef which protects it here, but uh, the wind is going to increase now. It doesn't really help. So we almost hit the reef there, and uh, so we did everything wrong that we normally do, don't do wrong. But then finally we were on the anchor and didn't want to move anymore. There's the boat that hit us, the two master. We're anchored here in front of the runway of uh, Ruba and we're going in uh, to, uh, to meet Nino, poor captain, well, poor us, uh, that hit us yesterday. This is pretty strong. Normally you have to go with your uh, own boat uh, to immigration. And it's been a bit of a discussion, but uh, in the meantime we're on Inky Blue. And uh, we have an escort of the Coast Guard. It, it seems possible now that we leave Great Circle and the anchor to prevent further damage. Do you got them in yellow as well? Now we have to do a test anyway. Uh, apparently still everybody has to do it, uh, except for local people. Uh, not a problem, <laughs> we have plenty of time. Uh, and, uh, one test more or less, it doesn't really matter. Super service by the Coast Guard from Aruba. They are helping us through this uh, really nicely. So. Top. In the end, we needed the time, the extra time. We were sent back and forth for our PCR test. Good 
couldn't say goodbye. We didn't want to leave. <laughs> ah. Have a good trip. Be careful. Bye bye. So we had to come a couple of miles against the wind, against the waves, back to where we were before. So here we're going to have our. PCR test, very important. So, now we test it. Yeah? $370. And then, uh, so far, they've been really friendly, so why not? So we are on an anchorage here in front of Oranjestad, Orange City. And <laughs> we're going to be here for a while, I guess. I baked a very nice apple pie, but you have to create your own party, even when you're not always feeling like it. Rijke just asked me to give you an idea of what could happen if a boat of 89 feet and 67 tons. The front of that boat hit ours. So finally we could relax a little bit. Uh, we saw the boat that hit us come by several times and uh, we have to say that both the captain and the owners of the company were extremely kind and helpful. So uh, we have no complaints in that area at all. Well, still in quarantine. Doesn't really matter with this weather. Well, and then the next day on Monday morning, um, Uttermeer had a meeting about our problem. We were called later, I think it was Tuesday. The plane has to go through Miami and after to Aruba. And at the same time, Sir Stefan Dena is working to find what should be the best team in order to join you. To repair everything. My God, Stefan, it is this is really a miracle what you're doing. I'm I'm speechless that you that you, no, that you can do that. Sorry to say, the crossbeam will be white instead of black. Oh, um, <laughs> we can handle that. <laughs> We're going to Varadero Marina, and uh, Paul is going to show us the marina and uh, walk us around. Uh, it looks like uh, the miracle is going to happen, and we. Will be hauled out uh, uh, in in Varadero, custom-made components uh, for a temporary solution to replace the carbon cross uh, will be installed, and um, automair specialist will fly in as well to uh, to coordinate the repairs. Oh, I can't uh, I can't tell you how relieved we are that uh, it still seems possible to uh, to continue. There are a couple of hurdles to go, so. We we're just too afraid to uh, to start cheering already, but uh, on the other hand, uh, it, uh, the situation looks a lot, 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 lot better uh, than we expected earlier. It's it's not normal what Ottomare did for us. Uh. So they are going to make a customized solution with a standard crossbeam to be able to connect it to our boat because we had a different crossbeam of course and we heard that uh, people from Uttermeer, from the design office, they work day and night to uh, find a solution for us. This is so good, this is such a perfect company. It's still afloat. So we're going inside the reefs. enough yeah. huh? well now we have to skip the Galapagos The 
travel lift. Well, it's not a travel lift, it's a cart. Like we've been lifted out a couple of times before already. They seem to be working on it. So the whole out is scheduled for 7, 8 or 9 March, depending on when the components really arrive. Here are the lead-in lights for the airplanes. The runway is there. The planes are arriving from that side. Next to us there's a famous YouTube channel, they are called Zingaro, way over 100,000 followers and they're doing real nice stuff with uh, spear fishing and uh, bikinis. Yeah, constantly on the floor, that's what's happening. Yeah, maybe they have a problem as well. <laughs> 